world's best trotters lined up for the Angus Hall. They're at the post, and here they come. And they're off, and first away is Abbey Road See you. Guns for the front. Fool's goal is headed out of there, and Revenue's game is speed, and Campbell sends him up there. Mutineer protecting rail position, so they're three wide into the opening turn. Mr. Muscleman has settled fourth, and Revenue is trotting around Mutineer, and he goes to the top early. Abbey Road C finds himself parked out. He'll press on there first up from fourth. Mighty Moses is sixth on the inside. HP Pack came off the wings in seventh. Elegant Man is following him, then two lengths to center field, and trailing Son of Grace, the quarter in 27 and 1 and Revenue is seeing pressure because Abbey Road C is parked and just half a length from him and Fool's Goal is tipped to the outside so he's following parked out cover there second over. Mutineer is in the pocket in behind Revenue on the inside from third and Mr. Muscleman is right there in fifth. He's only about three lengths from the lead and he too opts to join the cover flow tipping to the outside. Sixth at the rail is Mighty Moses HP Pack to the outside seventh eighth is Elegant Man the half up in 54 and 1 and HP Pack is three wide right now on the far turn. So Brian Sears aggressive early, and Mr. Muscleman is stuck in a blind switch there at Fool's Goal. Three wide. HP Pack is four wide on the outside with three eights to go. It's Revenue who has the field stacked up in behind him. HP Pack and Fool's Goal covering plenty of extra ground. Abbey Road C is backing up. Mutineer is getting a perfect trip. Elegant Man tips off cover five wide on the outside as they hit three quarters in 124 flat, and it is Revenue at the top of the stretch for John Campbell, and Revenue is widening the margin. Revenue is trotting away, now six lengths in front. Mutineer racing in second, Mr. Muscle Man on the outside third. Revenue with a 16th to go is well in front, and this one, Mr. Muscle Man second. Here is the Swedish champion, Revenue, and he hits the line in 151 and three. Mr. Muscle Man second, Mutineer third, Fool's goal fourth. Campbell had sat behind Revenue just one time, and that was warming him up this afternoon. But in the race, what a performance. What a race. Yeah, he's just a professional horse. I think he's one of those horses you could tie the lines to the seat, and he could go out and do that. He just knows what he's out there for. The half mile, 54-1. and one. You were receiving pressure from Abbey Road C on the outside. It looked like he was handling that with ease, but still, did you think he'd have as much left for the stretch as he did? Well, having not driven him, I wasn't sure, but he sure felt uh, strong going to the half. He was trotting 54 very easily. It wasn't uh, work for him, so I thought he'd give me a run, and whether that was good enough to hold off the closers I didn't know but at the head of the stretch when I spoke to him he was just like leaving the gate again. So you got them all stacked up four five six wide off the turn was that anything you were attempting to convey or did it just happen that way? I just happened that way I was trying to get the third quarter in as soft as I could and when they were stacked up you know I was in no hurry to take off with them and when I spoke to him up there at the, the last gate there he, he just trotted away you know very fast and uh, he, I was very impressed with him very easy horse to drive and he's a professional racehorse. Okay well he certainly made his mark here in North America trotting a final quarter here 27 and change to get the win. Do you know if they have any more North American engagements for him? I don't think so. I think he gets a rest now, the, the way I understood before the race. Okay, well, he certainly earned it with a powerful drawing away victory against the best trotters in the world. Great job, John Camp. Thank you very much, Peter. Thank you.